national lottery in it to win it. Most of you can play along with tonight's contestants by pressing the red button. Now, here's your host. It's Dale Winton! Thank you! Thank you, thank you. What a fabulous welcome. And a welcome to you two to the National Lottery In It's To Win It. Thank you for joining us this Saturday night. And don't forget, there's huge money to be won for you in the National Lottery draws. That's a bit later. But here I have up to £100,000 up for grabs here in the studio right now. Let's meet our five players. They are Jess. John. Suki. Sarah. And Elaine. They're all hoping to go home with the money. Here's the thing. As long as they're there in the waiting area, nothing much doing. If they're here, winner's row, when that klaxon goes, I could well be handing them a cheque for a lot of money. So the question is, who will be the first person sitting in winner's row? You each have your own colour. Let's find out who's going to play first. <laughs> Pronounce your name right. Is it Suki? Suki? Yes. Suki. It's Suki, yeah. Well, that's good to see you. Thank Where you. have you come from tonight? I've come from sunny Wolverhampton. Well, I used to live there. I know you did. Oh, did you used to listen to me on the radio? I used to listen to a certain local radio station, yeah. Bacon Radio. Bacon Radio, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> Who did you bring with you for support, Suki? I brought my lovely wife, Hardy, and my good friend, Raj. Hi, Hi Hardy. Hi, Hi, Raj. What do you do? I work as a mortgage advisor for one of the the big banks. Now tell me, how much do you want to go home with tonight? I'm not greedy, but 100,000 would be great. I have respect for anybody that comes on and is that honest. So with 100 grand in mind, what would you do with the money? I've got a nice house, which I like, but it probably needs extending. I've got a family, I've got two kids. Lovely. So I think um, hard it's my wife's been hinting at a new kitchen. I have yet to meet a woman that was happy with a kitchen. Oh, no. You put a new kitchen in now, Within two years, the yeah. hints will start to drop. Absolutely. Because, I mean, I love a good kitchen myself, I have to say. So, here's the deal. Every question is worth £5,000. You know that. You can also see that there's nothing in the prize fund. The good thing is you're sharing it with nobody because you're the only one here. If you can stay here for the whole show, you'll be up for a hundred grand. I hope so. Yeah. But, right answer, five grand. Wrong answer. Da 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 da. The red area. Two ways out of there, right back where you started, or back here in Winners Row. Yeah. Are you ready for your first question? I'm ready to. Here we go. We're all with you. Let's have a look at your question. The TV series Holby City is set in which type of workplace? Is it solicitors, hospital, or police station? This must be a good one for you because it's such a popular TV show. I think I know the answer, though. Great. What do you reckon? I think the answer is hospital. Would you like me to take hospital as your answer? Yes, please do. I accept that. It's worth five grand. If it's right, is it hospital? Yeah. I, uh... Second question. I wish you luck, Suki. Here we go. Which type of food is named after the French word for blown? Is it eclair, brûlé, or souffle? I could eat every one of those, right? They're all nice, yeah. aren't they? Oh. They're all delicious. I've got such a sweet tooth. OK. Um, I think I'm going to go for souffle. Shall I accept souffle as your answer? Yes, please, do. I accept souffle. If it is correct, you put another five grand in. Yes, please. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> this would make it £15,000. I wish you the best of luck. Suki, with your third question. Which horse won the 1993 Grand National, a result that was declared void? Was it Eshenes, Ben Nevis, or Garrison Savannah? I have no clue. That makes two of us tell, because I don't oh. know this one. I think it's going to be an educated guess, Dale, because I'm, not, uh, okay. I'm not sure on this one. I'm going to opt for Ben Nevis, uh, Dale. Shall I accept that? Yes, please. We have an arrangement. It is Ben Nevis. If that is right, you've 
dodged one you didn't like and you put five grand in. Is the answer Ben Nevis? No, it's SNS. Oh dear. You'll be back. For now, please make your way to Red. Okay. Sounds like a musical. Three girls and a guy. They're all sitting in the waiting area. One of them is going to join me here in Winners Row right now. Here's where we find out who it's going to be. John, how are you doing? Come and sit down. Well, you see, what were the chances of that? It's a boys' night so far. Girls, be patient. I'm <laughs> sure you might get a chance. Having said that, would you have liked that Grand National question? Oh, not at all. That so, was not, not nice, nice, was one. it? Not nice. How are you? Very well. Where have you come from? I'm from Grays in Essex. Grays in Oh, I love the accent, the Essex accent. <laughs> yeah. What do you do? I'm an assistant project manager. Of? Uh, working on various construction sites on London, in London. Oh, do you wear the tool belt and the hat? Sometimes, yeah, I'm high vis, boots, hat, yeah. Probably kick it out. So attractive, and I look at a man. <laughs> a man! <laughs> That's such a good look. Um, who have you brought with you tonight? I brought my mum, Audrey, and my dad, Michael. Hi, Audrey. Oh. Hi, so it's mum and dad. Mum and dad, yeah. They're proud of you. <laughs> and how much do you want to go home with? Uh, 80 grand would be, 80 grand. That would I be like nice. this again, you see, because Suki wanted the full 100, you're looking at 80 grand. If I handed you a cheque tonight, so it's Saturday night, you'd go home with a cheque for £80,000. Mm -hmm. Sunday, you sit and think about it. A treat, is it a call to the car dealership? Is it the travel agent? What is it? Well, as a treat, I'd like to go to South Africa and do cage diving with Great Whites. Would you really? Oh, well, yes. If I saw this thing coming towards me, mm. I'd be thinking, it might know a way in by now. <laughs> yeah, except the tennis. <laughs> well, because it'd probably been about the 20th one that day, one day it's going to figure out how to get in. Flip the lock. Oh, oh, no. Well, listen, I wish you the best of luck with Thank that. Thank you very much. You don't even have to think about your first question. Mm -hmm. It's not until I've got Suki out of the red area, back here where you belong in Winners Row. Suki, you know how the game is played. This is probably what I think more difficult, because there is no multiple choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the risk is higher. You're either going back there or back to where you started. Are you ready? I am, Dale. We're all with you. Let's see your question in the red area. In the Jungle Book, what kind of animal was Shere Khan? I have seen the Jungle Book on the okay. TV. It's been a while ago. What I'm thinking is that he was a panther. A black panther. OK, I accept the panther. It's locked in. It is sealed. I am hoping... I can't remember. It's too long for me. Okay. Is the answer panther? Tiger. I'm so sorry, okay. Suki. Please make your way back where you started. Okay. You join me in Winner's Row with ten grand. You can do this, John. Hopefully so. Let's have a look at your first question. Samantha Cameron has a tattoo of what on her ankle? What an interesting question. So, the Prime Minister's wife as a tattoo. Is it a rose, a dolphin, or an anchor? Well, I've got to be honest now, I haven't spent too much time looking at Samantha Cameron's ankles, so I'm not too sure on this question. I think rose is jumping out at me. Dale, so I think I'm going to go for rose. Do you want me to take rose? I'll take rose. That would be my guess as well. I'd say rose. I've accepted rose. Let's hope that's right. If it is, it's worth five grand. Is it rose? Oh, it's a dolphin. Weird. Who no knew? idea. Okay, yeah. please make your way to Red. You're halfway back. It does mean I have an empty row of seats in Winner's Row. I have an almost full row of seats in the waiting area and one in my red area. Not good enough. Who's going to come and join me? Let's find out. Boy, the phrase twirl. Let's have a twirl. You look beautiful. You know, all the ladies look really stunning tonight. How are you feeling, Sarah? Quite nice. Thanks. You are? 
nervous and excited, mm. that's called adrenaline. <laughs> Where have you come from tonight? From Beckenham, Kent. Beckenham in Kent. Yeah. I know it well. It's a lovely area. What do you do there? I'm a veterinary nurse. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, you look after all the poorly animals. I do indeed. Yeah. Who have you brought with you for support tonight? I have my mum, Lizzie, and my best friend, Teresa. Hi, girls. <laughs> and how much would you like to go home with? Well, for a life-changing amount, 80,000 would be lovely. Okay, so you're saying life-changing. Yeah. In what way would it change your life? Well, Dale, currently I just live in a room above work. So, you're, you're above the shop? Yeah. Okay. And I am getting on a bit, so I would oh, like... Oh, for goodness. <laughs> getting on a bit? I'm, no, 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 don't you tell me your age. I'm a not. woman that would tell you her age will tell you anything. I've said that before. <laughs> I did ask one woman, and I said, a woman that will tell you her age will tell you anything. She said, what do you want to know? <laughs> I thought, unbelievable. So, you were about to finish a sentence. So, I would like to put some of it to a deposit for my very own flat. Oh, OK. When you need a mortgage, Suki over there never Excellent. says no. <laughs> Permission, please. Come to an arrangement. That's the way the world goes round. So you want a lot of money. You want your own... Let's call it your own front door. Yeah. You don't have to do a thing at the moment. Your first question isn't until John's out the red area and back here in Winners Row. Right. You do draw me with ten grand, so we're off to a start. But I think we have to motor. We've got to really get cracking, because I'm not happy with that figure at the moment. I'll be back with your question. Oh. John, Hello. I want you out of there really quickly. Nice. Um, you know how the red area works. This is not multiple choice. I'm going to give you the question. Give me the right answer. You're back in winner's row. Let's get that prize fund up. Are you ready? I am. Here's your red area question. Which British newspaper published its last issue on July the 10th, 2011? It's a good one for me, Dale. I think I know that one. Which is? The News of the World. Would you like me to take that as your answer? Yes, please. OK, John says News of the World. If that is right, he's back in Winner's Row. Is it News of the World? Yes! Come on. Let's get some cash going here. Right. If we do a full round, we'll double that, just like that. It'll be another ten grand, five apiece. Sarah, here's your first question. Which famous warlord overran much of the Roman Empire with his army in the 5th century A.D. <laughs> You're looking horrified. Yeah. Uh, maybe the answers will help you. One of them's right. Is it Genghis Khan, Attila the Hun, or Vlad the Impaler? I'm rubbish at history. OK, I'm going to guess, Dale. What would your guess be? Attila the Hun. Shall I accept Attila the Hun as your answer? Yes, please. I accept Attila the Hun. If that is right, we'll have another five grand in the prize fund. Is it Attila the Hun? Yes! <laughs> it's worth five grand. OK, John, let's make it 20 grand. Here's your next question. Babel is a best-selling 2012 album by which British band? Good question. Is it Keen? Coldplay or Mumford and Sons? I'm thinking you must like this, no? Not unfortunately, no, that doesn't actually really What sort of music are you into? Uh, a bit of everything, really, but it's not ringing a bell, unfortunately. I think I'm going to go for Keen. Would you like me to take Keen as your answer? Mm, yes, please. OK, I accept Keen as the answer. OK, is the answer Keen? Oh, it's Mumford and Sons. For now, please make your way to Red. Okay. We're making very slow progress tonight. This is not good. However, I have two lovely ladies and, of course, Suki. He has been here before. One of them is about to join me in Winners Row. Who's it going to be? Let's find out. <laughs> Pretty dressed up with girls. Look, the girls tonight are looking absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at Elaine on the end. She looks bad. She looks beautiful. <laughs> that isn't getting the job done. Jess, where have you come from? I've come from Chester. Chester's a nice part of the world. Yeah, it's lovely. And what do you do there? I am a manager of a ladies' wear boutique. 
Who have you brought with you? I've brought my husband, Gareth, and my friend, Lee. Where are they? Where? Oh, hello. Are How long have you been wed? Um, two years. Okay, and do we have a family yet? Yeah, we've got a little daughter called Amber. I love the name Amber. <laughs> Listen, I wish you the best of luck Thank tonight. Thank you. You're going to win how much? I want to win as much as I can, but I'd love to win like 50,000 above. What would you do with the money? Um, I'm not going to lie, I'd go on a massive shopping spree because I love clothes. <laughs> well, nothing wrong with that. Um, and I would love to take my family on holiday. Okay, if you want 100 grand. Well, I'd do those things and I'd probably have to be sensible and pay some of the mortgage off as well. Yeah, and not yeah, a bad idea. Yeah. Not a bad idea. <laughs> I'll be back with your question. Okay. You're only here because John got it wrong. Let me get him out of the red okay. area. John, we've been here before. Yep. You know nice how it works. One question, not multiple choice. If you're ready, can I do it? Yep, start first. Here's your question. Which female media personality born in Mississippi in 1954 set up the company Harpo Productions. You know this. I have no idea. Yes, that. you do. I'm trying to think that Harpo might be something to do with their names. I'm trying to think of anything now that might be to do with Harpo. Uh, Harpo, nothing's coming to mind, Joe, so I'm just going to go for Jennifer Harp. Jennifer Harp? <laughs> yep, I have no... Would you like me to take Jennifer Harp as your answer? Yes, please. I accept Jennifer Harp. You were so... Close. He said the name. It must be something to do with the name. Yes. I hate to do this to you. What is Harpo backwards? Oprah. Uh. Oprah. Please reveal the answer. I'm looking for Jennifer Hart, but I think we know. I know. Oprah Winfrey. I'm so sorry. Oh. I thought you'd done it. I was so excited. Mm -hmm. But for now, please make your way back where you started. Fifteen grand. If the klaxon went now, you'd be looking at seven and a half grand a piece. I'm not happy. So come on, Jeff, put five grand in with this your first question. What colour is a bay horse? Is it grey, brown, or white? It's the second horse question we've had tonight. How unusual. I should know this because my husband loves horse racing. I don't know the answer, but I think it's grey. Would you like me to take grey as the answer? Yes, Dale. OK, I accept grey. You're in it for another five grand. Is the answer grey? Wow. <laughs> we are struggling to get some money in that mm. prize fund tonight. For now, please make your way to red. OK. Elaine, Suki, John, stand by. One of you will be sitting right here. After you have put five grand in, please tell me you're going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. You're going <laughs> to do it. Let's make it 20 grand now. Annie Leibovitz is famous in which branch of the arts? Is it sculpture, dance, photography? I've have you heard, heard of her? her? No. Um, I'd like to think I know famous dancers, and I've never heard of her. Okay, I'm guessing sculpture, Dale. Would you like me to take sculpture as your answer? Yes. I accept sculpture. If that is right, you've now put another five grand. Is the answer sculpture? Oh. Photography. Sorry, but you didn't make it through. Please make your way to red. OK. It's going very slowly tonight. We've got to put some money in that prize fund. Someone's going to join me. Who's it going to be? It's White Nitsuki, oh. you're coming back! Oh, lucky! Come on, back he comes. Suki, take a seat. Actually, it's justice, because when I look at that 15 grand prize fund, you put 10 grand in. I'll be back with your question after you get the girls out of the red area. Now, I'm going to give you a red area question. When you're in the red area, and there's only two of you, you have to agree on the same, hopefully, correct answer. Okay. For the chance to go back to winner's row, let me see your red area question. Brendan Rodgers became the manager of which football club in 2012? Brendan Rodgers. 
think it might be Liverpool. Really? Yeah. I saw something like, my husband's a big United fan, so we don't talk about Liverpool, but I just think, I know they've got a new manager. I don't know his name, but I think, do you, do you have any idea? I have no idea. I don't know anything about football. I'll, I'll go with Liverpool. Okay, we'll go with Liverpool. What would you like me to take? Liverpool. And Sarah, what would you like me to take? Liverpool, please. I have accepted Liverpool, if that is right. Both girls are going back to winner's row. Jess, you seem quite confident. I hope you're right. Is it Liverpool? Seriously, there is 15,000. We do a full sweep here. We could put another 15. It's still only 30. Time is marching on. Suki, do your magic. Put another five in. Here's your okay. question. Which character was played by Mark Ruffalo in the 2012 movie Avengers Assemble? Was it the Hulk, Hawkeye, or Captain America? Mark Ruffalo. I love Mark Ruffalo, he's a great actor. I think I'm going to go for Captain America. Shall I accept Captain America as the answer? Yes, please do. Consider it done. I accept Captain America if it is right. 20 grand. Is it Captain America? Oh. But Suki, last time I said when you go there, you're coming back. You didn't believe me. This time, you're coming back. I'll definitely But for try. now, please make your way to Red. I don't want to hang around. The Claxon, quite frankly, could go any time. Here is your question. Diary of a Wimpy Kid is a best-selling series of books by which author? Is it Jeff Kinney, Christopher Paolini, or Suzanne Collins? I don't know it. I do like books, but I've never heard of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Um, I'm going to go for Jeff Kinney. Would you like me to take Jeff Kinney as the answer? No, I'm going to say Suzanne Collins. Shall I take Suzanne Collins yeah, as the answer? Yeah, Suzanne Collins. Accepted, done. We have an arrangement. If it's Suzanne Collins, we will have finally got up to 20 grand. Is it Suzanne Collins? Oh, my God. Jeff Kinney is the answer. You oh. see, gut reaction never lets you down. Please make your way to red. Time's marching on. Well, let's get that prize band up. It's 15 grand. Okay. Let's make it 20 grand. Here's your question. From what type of beans is the Asian ingredient miso typically made? Is it runner beans, soya beans, or broad beans? Okay. I kind of feel I know what the answer is. But for some reason, I'm going for soya beans. Would you like me to take soya beans as the answer? Yes, soya beans. I accept soya beans, if that is right. Actually, we'll be at 20 grand. Is the answer soya? Yes! That's the way to do it. Get that around. 20 grand. John, Elaine, stand by. One of you is about to join me right now in Winners Row. Let's find out who it's going to be. It's John, you're coming back! Well done, John, come and take your seat. Elaine, I don't know what to say to you, darling. How are you doing? Well, I'd be happier over there. It can all change. You know how that happens on this show. John, you can relax. I'll be back with your next question in a moment. You made it back. Meanwhile, OK, two heads are better than one. Yeah. Work together. You know how it works in the red area. Let's make it happen. Here is your question. Parma is a major city on which Mediterranean island? Mallorca. Mallorca. Parma okay. Nova. Mallorca. Definitely. I've been there. Suki, what is your answer? It's Mallorca. Jess? Mallorca. Which means if Mallorca suddenly appears, they're both going back to Winner's Row, and then we can hopefully put some more money in. Is the answer Mallorca? Sure is. Come on, back. Back. Let's go back. Don't hang around. Let's do it. Okay. 
There are four of you in winner's row, which means if we have a clean sweep, that 20 can become 40, which means if the klaxon went, you're looking at 10 grand apiece. Now we're cooking. John, here's your next question for 5,000. Where was the comedian Sarah Millican born? Funny lady. Have you seen yeah, her? Yeah, I have. Oh, she's sensational. Funny. Sensational. Is it Sheffield, Salford, or South Shields? I've got a feeling she uses it in her act as well. She does, I think. And I think I remember saying her something about Sheffield, which is jumping out to me. Would you like me to take Sheffield as your answer? I would, yes, please. OK, I accept Sheffield as the answer. If that is right, 25 grand is still here. It's not a good time to be leaving winner's be row. Is the answer Sheffield? Oh, South Shields. Not my night tonight. Oh, my goodness. Please make your way to red. You'll be back. You'll be back. OK. Sarah, here's your question. Please put another five in. I wish you the best. What is the coastline to the south of Brisbane in Australia known as? Is it the Gold Coast, the Ivory Coast, or the Mosquito Coast? OK. I think it's the Gold Coast, Dale. Would you like me to take the Gold Coast as your answer? Yes, I would like you to take it. Accepted, that. sealed, done. If it's the Gold Coast, we'll have 25 grand in there. Is it the Gold Coast? Once again, yeah, well done, OK. Oh, by the way, Elaine, you will be coming over. At least you know you will be joining me. Suki, 25 grand, let's make it 30. Here's your question. Manny, Sid and Diego are characters in which movie series? Is it Toy Story, Ice Age or Shrek? You've got young kids, haven't you? I have got young kids. Um, so they'd have seen all three of those, presumably. I think my answer is going to be Ice Age. Would you like me to take Ice Age as your answer? Yes, please, then. I accept Ice Age. If it's right, we'll have 30 grand in the prize fund. We're getting there now. Oh, but I hope it's right. Is it Ice Age? Yes! Well done! It's good. It's good. Oh! Please, you seem to be getting a bit of a rhythm here. Jess, you can do this. I can. I knew those answers, so. Well, you'll know this one, I hope. It's I worth hope another so. five grand. Please, show me the question. A large glass pyramid stands at the entrance to which historic building? Is it the National Gallery, the Louvre, or the New York Guggenheim? Goodness. A large glass pyramid stands at the entrance to one of those buildings. National Gallery, the Louvre, or the New York Guggenheim? I really, I don't know. I've never been to any of them. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go, so I'm going to go with the Louvre. Would you like me to take Louvre as the answer? Yes, Taylor. Accept it. If it's the Louvre, we'll have another five grand in the prize fund. Is it the Louvre? Good. Which means Elaine, come <laughs> say hi to Dale. At last. Oh my God. Oh. How lovely to see you. Oh, come here, darling. Oh, Sit down. So Look at you. I oh. love this. Oh, thank you so I much. I love this outfit. Thank it's you. beautiful. You look absolutely gorgeous. Now, here's a thing. We've got four of you now in Winner's Row, which is good. I'm going to wish you the best of luck. You oh, are only dear. here for one reason. Yes. And that's because John got the answer wrong. Tell me a little bit about you. Where have you come from? Um, I'm a Geordie from Essex. A real Geordie from Newcastle, are you? Whitley Bay. Whitley Bay. Yes. And you now live in Essex? Yes. Have uh, done for 27 years. Who's days. with you tonight? My husband, John, and my sister, Anne. Good to see you. Do you work? Yeah, what? I've got a hairdressing salon. OK. How much do you want to go home with? Well, I'll have what's in there. OK. <laughs> what would you like? I would just like, um, 50,000. And what would you do with the money? Well, I have had some friends recently emigrate to Australia, and they're both 50 next year. Yeah. So I would like to cruise to Australia. Very for nice, too. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. I want to get the show going, because I want to yes. get that price yes. bound up. Oh. John. You know the way it works. Yeah. 
I hope you like this question. Let's hope so. And I wish you the best of luck. Here it is. In which traditional pantomime does Widow Twanky appear? It's not been my night for questions tonight, Dale. You don't like Widow. that? I don't like that either. I'm not a pantomime man. No? <laughs> I'm going to have to go for Jack and the Beanstalk. Would you like me to accept Jack and the Beanstalk as the answer? Is there anyone I'm thinking of? Yes, please, Dale. OK, I accept Jack and the Beanstalk. If that is right, you're going back to Winner's Row. Is the answer Jack and the Beanstalk? Aladdin. I'm so sorry. Please make your way right back where you started. Oh, dear. Oh, man. Right. 35 grand. Oh! oh! <laughs> the klaxon has sounded, which means only one thing. That prize fund is frozen at £35,000, which means I have four people in Winner's Row. They're all... One question away from taking away a share of that money. Relax. John, you've been a top geezer, I think, would be the Thank right way. Much. That's what we'd say in Essex, isn't it? It would be, yeah. You're right, top geezer. So for now, please, I have to say goodnight, John. <laughs> You're one question away from your share of the cash. I'll be back with your question, the last question of the night for each of you in just a moment. <laughs> well, it'll seem like forever to them as they sit and wait for the chance to go home with a minimum of 8,750. That means it's time as we go over for tonight's Thunderball draw from the National Lottery. Good luck. My fingers are crossed for you. Have a good one. And we're live at Lottery HQ with your host, OJ Board. Thank you, Alan, and hello, everyone at home. I hope you're having a fabulous weekend in the lovely sunshine. Now, as always, we have two chances for you to win big tonight with the live Thunderball and Lotto draws, and we'll be featuring another of our national lottery heroes. Dog lovers will particularly enjoy this film because it's all about our four-legged friends this week. So stick around for Natasha and Giles' story later on. But first, let's get a bit of winning under our belts. It's time for tonight's Thunderball. Fire up those machines, if you would, please. Our draw master tonight, Matt Chamberlain. The draws are being overseen by our independent adjudicator, Emma Crook. Excalibur 6 and Cenobol 7, they were selected at random for us earlier today by Grace Adjelsi, who's from Reading. Over £3.3 .3 million pounds have been won on Thunderbolt in the past week, you know. Congratulations to all you lucky winners. OJ. And good luck for tonight's draw. We're off and running. First to appear before us tonight is that one there 31 don't forget a total of 39 balls to pick from in this first machine you just choose five of them if you would make sure they're the right five though 38 next and three opportunities per week to play the game of course wednesdays fridays and saturdays next up is that one there number 20. we need a couple more from this our first machine here's the first of them and it is that one there 19 and finally, how about, do you have this on your ticket? There it is, number two. Excellent. OJ. A cash prize will be yours, even if you match with just the Thunderball. And here it comes. Yep, here we go. Good luck this weekend. Round and round they go. Could make a big difference, remember. Number ten. So here are tonight's Thunderball numbers again, this time in ascending order. Two. Nineteen. Twenty. 31 and 38. The Thunderball, 10. OJ. Thank you, Alan. Now, we'll be back with tonight's Lotto draw and our National Lottery Heroes film about Natasha and her assistant dog, Giles, right after we've been back to see Dale and how the Winners Row hopefuls are going to get on. See you soon. Good to see you. Now, Winners Row. I see four happy, expectant faces. Because they know what I know that you know. You watch them put 35 grand in the prize fund, which means they're one question away from at least 8,750 each. Elaine, Dale. you timed it rather well. I mean, you sat there all evening, didn't get to answer a single question. And here you are looking at your first and last question of the night. And look at that. 
prize fund's got 35 grand in it, you're looking at 8,750. It's all right, isn't it? Okay, so if you're ready, let's do your question. Are you ready? Yes. The teenager, Jay Jones, won a gold medal in which sport at the 2012 Olympics? Was it boxing, rowing, or taekwondo? Oh, my dears, I can't even think. I'm going to say boxing. Would you like me to take boxing as your answer? Yes, dear. I accept boxing. Let's hope it turns the other colour, making it a winning answer. Meaning the minimum you'd be going home with is 8,750. If it's not the right answer, the prize fund remains the same and everybody else is playing for a little bit more cash. So, I need that to be boxing. Is the answer boxing? Ah! Taekwondo. You know, I'm so mm. sorry. You've been patient all night, but I have to say good night. I'm so sorry. Okay. Lovely to have met you. Good night, darling. Thank you. Bye. Okay. okay. Because of what just happened with Elaine, the minimum you're going home with, if you give me the right answer, is 11,666. Mm -hmm. That is what your question is worth. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready, Dale. Here's your question for 11,666 minimum. What is the maximum number of letters that can feature in a posting on Twitter? Is it 40, 90, or 140. <laughs> Do you tweet? No, I don't. I don't tweet either. Oh. Well, Dale, I don't think it's 140 because I think that's too much. So it's going to be between 40 and 90. Ooh. Oh, okay, I will go 40, Dale. Would you like me to accept 40 as your answer? Yes. I accept 40. It is locked in. If that is right, you are leaving with a minimum of 11,666. If not, our other two players are playing for 17 and a half grand each. Is the answer 40? Oh, no! It's 140. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so happy to say good night, darling. Stay <laughs> tuned. I'm sorry. Spooky. It's now a minimum 17,500. That is what this one question is worth to you. Are you ready for your last question of the night? I think so, Dale. I wish you the best of luck. Here is your question. Who plays the role of the villainous President Snow in the 2012 movie The Hunger Games? Is it Gary Oldman, Donald Sutherland, or Malcolm McDowell? Did you see the movie? No. Oh, I haven't seen the movie, Dale. I'm going to go with my initial instinct. I'm going to go with my gut feeling. Right. And I'm going to go for Donald Sutherland. Am I to accept that? Yes. Then I have. If it is the right answer, the minimum you're going home with is 17 and a half grand. If not, it means that Jess is playing for 35 grand. I would love you to go home with a check. So please tell me. Yes, the answer is Donald Sutherland. Feeling? I'm stunned, Dale. You're happy, though, right? I'm um, over the moon. Can I go and sort out Jess? Please sort out Jess. Well, well done, well done. OK. Jess, you've just seen how to play it. We'd love you to go home with some money. If you're ready, can I reveal to you your question? Yeah, please do. Here is Jess's last question. It's the last question of the night. What two colours feature on the flag of Nigeria? Is it white and green, black and green, or black and red? 
What do you reckon? Okay. I know black and green and yellow is Jamaica. Um, black and red. I'm not thinking that. I don't know it. For some reason, white and green seems to be is, is sort of jumping out at me. And I did say I'd go with my gut feeling. Um, I'm going to say white and green, Dale. Okay. Are you saying you would like me to accept white and green as your answer? I am, Dale. Yeah. Accepted. If it is white and green, just like Suki, you're leaving here with 17 and a half grand. If not, Suki's going home with 35,000. It would be great if it was even Stevens, split both ways. That would be really nice. So, I'm hoping that it is white and green, is it? The Kings, you can relax. I'll be back with your checks very soon. Well done. Okay. That's what I like to see. Two happy faces in winner's row. 17 and a half grand. Your check's on the way. Here's where you could be in for some serious big money. And I do wish you the best of luck. It's time for tonight's big lotto draw from the National Lottery. Good luck, everybody. Well done, Jess. Well done, Suki. It was hard work, but a very nice amount of cash to be going home with. Now, this week, our National Lottery heroes are of the four-legged variety. Johnny P went to meet one of those heroes, Giles the dog, and his owner and best friend, Natasha. Enjoy. I'm here at Dogs for the Disabled in Banbury. Now, this is a brilliant project which trains assistant dogs for adults and children with varying disabilities. We were very fortunate in 1997 to get a grant from the National Lottery. They received further funding in 2009 for Paws, so the project is continuously growing and reaching more and more people. Yeah, Dogs for the Disabled basically believes that dogs are good for us. We support clients with a range of different disabilities and conditions, but the underlying theme for all our work is an interaction between dogs and people, which is a very positive thing. One such person who has benefited from the project is 14-year-old Natasha Settleman, who has cerebral palsy and was paired up with the amazing Giles a year ago and she's since had her life transformed. Giles is my best friend because he is really helpful and really cute and friendly and I'm having a bad day or, and that he'll always be there. We drop something on the floor it's, you know, we just take it for granted that we can just lean down and pick it up. And Natasha's sense of balance means that that's not quite so easy for her. Giles, who's always there, is a really massive difference. Definitely giving me more independence because I wasn't able to join in with what my friends were doing. Giles has helped Natasha focus on her dream of becoming a para-Olympian. And I've got a little surprise to get her one step closer to achieving just that. If I said to you, Sophie Christensen, do you know who that is? She was a Paralympic gold medalist in dressage. Well, we spoke to Sophie and her coach, and you're going to have a lesson with them, yes? Wow, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> it's going to be amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we've got a present for Giles too. So, Giles, come on. Come on, boy. <laughs> yes. What a fantastic day. It's great to see the work that Dogs for the Disabled is doing. And let's not forget that by playing National Lottery Games, you yourselves are helping families like Natasha's. So thanks. What a fantastic story, eh, Alan? Absolutely. Giles clearly enjoying that bone, wasn't he? Though? Well, he deserves it. Now, earlier this week, as promised, Natasha got to train with National Lottery-funded Paralympian Sophie Christensen and even got to ride Gennaro, the horse Sophie won gold with at London 2012. Now, the experience has really spurred Natasha on to pursue her dream of becoming a Paralympic dressage champion. Good luck, Natasha, and give Giles a little tickle behind the ears from me. <laughs> right, back to the task in hand. It's time for tonight's live lotto draw. Weekend 
symbols. And let me tell you that tonight's jackpot has been estimated at 3.7 million pounds, folks. And thanks to Grace from Reading, we're using Arthur and Cedarball 7. Three jackpot winners on Lotto last week. One of those lucky devils was Baker Gene Swapman from Lowestoft, who won 2 million quid last Saturday night. Congratulations to you, Gene, and all the other lucky winners. OJ. So, Matt, is Arthur ready? He's indeed, OJ. In that case, then, good luck, everyone. We're off and running. And there's the first one already, number eight. With us half a dozen Wednesdays back as well, that one, 254th Lotto Ante. Next, out pops another. This time it's number 43. And by the way, since it launched way back in 94, the National Lottery's given away over 43 billion pounds in prizes. That is number nine, bonus last Saturday night, as it happens, 237th time now, as a Lotto main ball. Fourth to be drawn is number 17. With us some seven Wednesdays ago as well, 216th time as a Lotto main ball. And the fifth one, please. There it is, number 41, 232nd outing with us midweek as well. And the sixth one that could make you very rich is right there, <laughs> battling with each other. Number 13, 212th time it's been drawn with us last Saturday as well. The bonus tonight, should you need it, is right there, number 14. So, Millionaire's Row this weekend looks like this in ascending order. Eight. Nine. 13, 17, 41, and 43. The bonus tonight, 14. OJ. Thank you, Alan. Now, if you've played Lotto Plus 5 this week, Alan will reveal the results at the end of the show. Matt Johnson is here next Saturday at the later time of 9.10 with all the weekend draws, and we'll be featuring some more of your National Lottery heroes. Next week, it's the Blood Bikers from Lancashire. Do not miss that. It's time now to go back to Dale and the team in it to win it. See you soon, and enjoy the weather tomorrow. Good night. For the sun. Well, wrong little job to do. Give two checks out for 17 and a half grand to two very deserving contestants. Absolutely. <laughs> it says, play Suki Dandu, 17 and a half grand. Well done. <laughs> you would say, Jess Sudlow, 17 and a half thousand. Well done, darling. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, you did it. Well done, you did it. Wonderful. Okay. Well, I've had a wonderful night tonight on In It To Win It. I hope you've enjoyed watching it too. If you have, come back and see us again soon. Until then, have a good night. Good night now. Ah, uh, very happy Suki and Jess. Well done to you both. Okay, this week's Lotto Plus 5 results are coming up in just a moment. So this week's plus five results are for Sunday the 2nd of June, 18, 90, 23, 27, 39, 44. The bonus, 43. For Monday the 3rd of June, 3, 4, 26, 37, 43, 46. The bonus, 42. For Tuesday the 4th of June, 2, 22, 23, 26, 27 and 49. The bonus, 10. For Thursday, the 6th of June, 16, 90, 22, 30, 37, 41. The bonus, 45. And the final result for the week, Friday, the 7th of June, 4, 16, 29, 35, 39, 47. The bonus, 12. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, won't you?